Ha-ha-ho, <laughs> hee hoo hoo ha Welcome to the fucking game. Oh, I need to put on my Command & Conquer soundtrack. Hey, did you all know that I forgot to put on my Command & Conquer soundtrack? Hello, everyone, by the way. Welcome back. It is time for Mechabellum. I need some Mechabellum. I need to play it. He speaks, I do speak. Say the line. Um, oh, shit, I gotta turn on my stream deck software. Hang on. I can't say the line. I need someone else to say it for me. I had to turn this off for reasons. I should remember to turn it back on. Can I hit the stream chat again? Oh, Jeff. I forgot. I'm not meant to swear for the first 15 seconds after the music ends. Oops. Because of YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you just had to, like, you go, you go bleep me. <laughs> Balls. Anyway. Um, music, please. Main scene, please. Slink says, gotta say, I've been seeing generally more Mecha Balance streamers lately. I gotta get a video out for it, because I'm gonna get left behind. Someone like, someone bigger than me is gonna be like, whoa, Mecha Bellum, and then no one's gonna care I exist. Oh no. I gotta strike while the iron's hot, which is something I never do in my fucking life, and is why I'm... Uh, like streaking straight towards poverty um, constantly really should do that um, anyway howdy I want to go to my dashboard please streamlabs see you Brett how y'all doing having fun what's up Hey, thanks to um, Britannia for the immediate 30-month sub and the Conrad226 for the 63-month sub. Thank you both very much. Welcome to the stream. Brit saying, Beagle's my birthday in Australia. What did you get me? Brit sarcasm. Oh, like I said, I got you an NFT that says bad bitch on it, Brit. Yeah, give me 100 bucks and I'll, I'll send it over to you, to your email. No mercy. No. No. What do I uh, want to do? Oh, yeah. Um, we got some things to test immediately because of what you all said in chat. PJ says, why didn't you get sponsored to play it? And Elder didn't suck at it. Oh, Northern Lion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, of course people are getting sponsored to play it because it's just come out. But you know what? DNGR has oh. just tipped 10 dollars. Bulls. Bulls. You know why I didn't get sponsored to play it? Probably because I was already playing it. <laughs> so why would you need to sponsor me? Hey, I've seen Ingridon use this Elite Marksman thing in the Discord. I want to use it too. Range Enhancement 40. I guess I could just use Range Enhancement instead. I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this. Let's go test something. He lost a training mission. Oh dear! You know what? I support Northern Lion trying to learn the game if he gave it a good try. Which I'm sure he did. But Ab says, we're trying to understand this game and thought about watching the VODs of the midweek thing and they're all paywalled. I'd recommend watching my VODs instead just because the tournament wasn't the best place to learn everything from the start because you can't ask as many questions as easily. And because, you know, here on my stream, I could just tell you an entire stream of consciousness thought, like explain something from start to finish. Whereas you don't really have as much time for that when you're casting and co-casting a tournament. So like I said, the 20 players also didn't seem to be very good. They're, they're, they're newer. Some, some of the players are newer. I mean, good for them for going at it. I really enjoyed watching them. I'm really looking forward to, I imagine this, I imagine it's going to be mixed up this, this coming week so that Lollop is versus Dplex. And Harry is versus Happy Thoughts, and I think those are gonna be really good matches, honestly. Um, I, I no, I mean, I I seen Dplex after the fact was immediately like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about this, I'm gonna think about like you know, doing this and that differently for next weekend. That's cool. I like that, you know. I mean, I lost my first seven or eight matches of this game in a row when I first started playing this game. It took me like eight matches to win, uh, and to to break that cliff of like understanding what the hell's going on. There's a lot going on in this game to get started with, and I do think it's easy to learn, but um, it is definitely very hard to master. And I'd say even like a little bit challenging to get to that intermediate level. It's like Blood Bowl, like it, it's it's kind of like intuitive and easy to learn, but it also kind of has like a cliff. <laughs> I don't know how the both those things can be true at once, but in my heart, I know they are. Uh, we came in here to the Majiggy because I want to test something. Where are my arc lights? There's one. Here is an Overlord. So, with Overlords and a lot of Giants, they get this thing called Armor Enhancement as a tech you can buy, which is HP is increased by 30% and 60 damage is blocked when attacked. The damage blocking effect increases at the level, and each level blocks an additional 60 damage. Okay. So that's a great thing. Obviously, you, you block 60% damage coming in at you just flat, 
So if an enemy does less than 60 to you, or 60 or less, nothing is done to you, which is just great. Just ignores it. Nothing gets through. And then as you level, you get 60 more. Now, it's written differently for non-giant units. It's written, effect increases of unit level, decreasing damage received by 60 per level increased. So what they've done here is they've just got like the back half of it. Now, I've always taken this, and I assume I was right until a moment ago, to mean that this does nothing for you at level 1. This only works, I've assumed, once you get a level up. Because it says, effect increases of unit level, decreasing damage received by 60 per level increased. So by, by the numbers, this should mean it does nothing at level 1, right? But by the way that is written, magic players, like card game players, help me out here, right? That, D&D players, that is saying you don't get anything if the unit's level 1. And I have believed this to be true this entire time. But then someone just rocked my world in chat because they said, Hey, it does work at level 1. I'm like, fucking what? So now we're going to find out. We're going to place down Mustangs, which do 37 damage per hit. And here's an arc light with the armor enhancement. Let's have a look. Are they going to do damage? Oh my fucking god, what? Looks like there is like one... Looks like they do deal like one, they get like one... I, I, would, I would guess that perhaps like each unit gets to do like one damage at minimum, but oh my fucking god, what the fuck? What the fuck? So this is just written completely wrong. Which th this means that there are so many units that get this ability and I never fucking take it because I always think that you fucking need to level them up to use it. Are you kidding me? So if you, if, if, if the enemy is just going like, cr there's so many units that don't do much damage. Where, where are they? Fucking Mustangs. F crawlers. Fangs. I think even Wasps, maybe? Don't, don't, don't do that much? Let's, let's just get them all. Just get all the fucking units. This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. 37. Okay, it's not arc lights. Get rid of the arc lights. But fangs come under the threshold as well. Wasps don't. Hang on, delete the ones that don't, right? Wasps have more. Crawlers are... Crawlers are actually a lot more. Crawlers are 131. If you have level 2 arc lights, it wouldn't be so bad, but yeah. Crawlers actually do a lot of damage. That's what's good about them. They do 131. They do more damage than you'd think. But definitely mustangs and fangs. Is there any other unit that just like at level 1 you could beat out for free? Vulcan... or almost? Vulcan, it would, you'd be a lot more effective against. Vulcan does 85. Um, I think that's probably going to be it, though. I think everything else does more damage. There's definitely some units here that won't you won't completely nullify, but you'll like, take away a lot of their effect. And it's like the Vulcan um, crawlers, you're halving their damage and so on. The chat? <laughs> the one time Big Rose had... <laughs> The one time Beagle remembers how to read and it hurts him a <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Go to... Hey, what's up? Go to BDX. Paradox? Damage scales literally. Level 3 does 3 times level 1. Is that... Is that... Um, a paradox? A paradoxical? In my chat? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm guessing from that acronym. Uh, anyway, what were you saying? Um, PDX is Portland. It is? What? There's no X in- What? <laughs> what? None of those letters are- What? Anyway, what did you say? You said 60 per level. At level 1 is 60. Damage scales linearly. Level 3 does 3 times level 1. Yeah. Portland International Airport. Portland Town. Anyway. International. No, I, I'm a child of pilots. I know X, like LAX for airports. You've ever, no, of course I've heard of LAX. They didn't say an airport! They said Portland! <laughs> anyway, um... The point is, this unit, and then what else have we got? We've got, um, on my team, back on my testing team. Air Portland, shut up. Uh, sledgehammers also get it. So this, again, this should work at level 1. Which is fucking crazy. Who else gets it? I think balls get it. 
Give me more money. Give me money. And I just assumed from the way it was written that none of this shit worked. I think Rhino's... Rhino's also get it. Yeah, and again, I thought you had to be level 2. Uh, who else gets it? I'm gonna get it on Stormcallers, baby. I'm gonna get it on everyone. Mustangs don't get it, do they? No, Mustangs don't. That would be crazy. Can you fucking imagine? Okay, so here's all these non-giant units that get to do it. And then just, just put like an endless amount of Stangs and Fangs out. And what's going to happen? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I did not know this! You can see that like some damage does get through. Like they all get like a minimum of one I'm guessing. But that is a little fucked up. Oh my god. Yeah, why don't you crawls? Oh, there was a unit of crawlers? Oh. Oh, you're right. So. You know that thing I've loved to do this whole time? To, like, take an overlord and just get it armor enhancement so that it's immune to units like this. Well, it turns out, apparently, we can fucking do that on a lot more units than I realized. And yes, I always knew you could do this on level 2 of these units, but... I did not know you could just do it for, from the start. I mean, you can, like, just immediately, as as someone pointed out on Arclights, just do this. Was there a unit of crawlers? Oh, there is one unit of crawlers, yes. Sammy is dead on correct. The best kind of correct, which means if you go like that... Curtis says, put the enemies at level 2 though, and 0% damage comes more like 50%, but it still likes a value. It is, and then as long as you keep your levels on parity, as with the overlords, it still works. Yep. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, that's busted. I, I gotta remember to turn off um, my chat too. Well, I can't turn it off all the time because then I can't even see what my beautiful opponents are saying, I guess. Oh well, too late. Also effective against Vulcans? Yeah, I'd imagine it is. And that's good because sledges usually die in the ass to that. Like, hang on a second. Clear everything. I want to show you something, right? Vulcan. Sledges. Okay. Wait, I want to say something else too while we're here. So, on its own, Vulcan's wreck sledges. Because they just do enough damage, even though they're only doing little bits of damage, they do it so quickly that they'll just kill them because they're like kind of a crowd unit and sledges don't have much single target. And they'll do this to balls and stuff too, especially with like allies. But then if we put on the armor, right? That's gonna take your damage a second or damage per hit from the Vulcan per millisecond down from 85 to 25. And that is a fuckload better. Now here's something I'm even, even more interested in. We've seen this before and I think it works, but I want to test it in a vacuum. 
if you combine armor enhancement with damage sharing, the critical wording is that it does not give them all the same health pool. Instead, it chains adjacent such damage together, increasing their HP and sharing damage received equally between them. There's a big difference here. Because if it was all the same health pool, like if it made them into one giant unit, then armor would not be so busted as it's about to be. Because it would instead be that the, the whole tank counts as one unit, so they get 160 damage armor. But because... Because instead it's chaining and sharing the damage, not the health, then what that should mean is that your 2,000 damage on a marksman shot is being divided by my number of sledgehammers. If that number per sledgehammer then ends up underneath my armor, like my armor is then like going from being useful against the marksman shot one time to 10 times. So give them some marksman, right? CW rules says, I feel like you tried this before and it's not how it works. I feel like we tried this before and it's literally how it works. I have the complete opposite memory. We did this with balls and we were like, what the fuck? Wait. Kota says, IIRC armor takes effect before damage sharing. We'll see. I feel like we did this with balls and it's the opposite. But you might be right and that's what we're going to test. Because it's fucking busted if so. So divided by 10, that would be like 200. Can we get on a unit where it's really obvious? Let's get on a unit that's really obvious. So like, um... We'll just, just do like marksman, I guess, but then just do like a bunch. Oh god. Do like a bunch of sledges in a huge line. A level this like single sniper? No, hang on. Just do like a lot of sledges all connected because then the divisor should be enough. So we obviously know I'm on, on it, sorry, they're gonna fucking die real quick, but what if I go damage sharing? How does this work? Well, actually, I, I can't tell now because it's just all the tank's health pulls, but it is doing damage, I don't think it's working. I thought it worked this way when I did it with the balls, but I guess not. Um, let's do an easier way to test this, because that's that's not a good way to test that. Hang on, that's just like, there's so many of them that they have so much health. So what you want is you want a unit that doesn't do as much damage as a marksman, but does enough that like divided by five, it wouldn't be doing anything, if that makes sense. So like... Um... Like, enemy sledges. 608 damage, so divided by- that's no, not enough. Maybe an arc light, someone said. So, yeah, because sledges have AoE, yeah. So do arc lights. Phoenixes versus tanks. Phoenixes have marksman damage. It's like marksman. Though, they won't die that way. They have too much damage. Yeah, Arclight's have AoE too, yeah. It needs to be like a single target shooter that does more... Maybe like Crawlers? Crawlers, Crawlers, Crawlers. Where are Crawlers? Level up a Fang. Oh, yeah, you can just level up a Fang too. That's a good point. You could level up Fangs. Um, a level up Fang does 108, right? So here we go. So this will be really easy to test then. It's just, will these leveled up fangs be able to do any damage at all to a unit of sledgehammers with damage sharing and armor? That's, I think, all we need to test, right? That would that would decide it. I feel like people are right from that last test and it's not going to work, but we'll see. Just by the numbers, this should not work, right? Their damage should be divided by five. No, but they are doing damage. They're not doing a lot of damage, but they are. So you're right. Um, damage is done first. Then it's... Then it's... Then the armor comes in on it.
Armor, armor, armor. Armor stops the initial amount of damage first, then it's split. So in this case, the fangs are doing 108 damage to each tank. That damage is taken, so it'll be, okay, 108 minus 60 off the sledgehammer. That 60 is then divided across all tanks. Yeah, that makes sense, because otherwise that would be incredibly busted. It does make sense. I just thought we had it the other way around the other day, but I think it's just damage sharing is so strong. Damage sharing is strong, by the way. And then, of course, if you upgrade... And this is the big thing about armor enhancement, is that it scales of your level. If you upgrade now, they should take nothing again, right? You gotta keep level parity when you're doing this kind of thing. When you're trying to just, like, Tarkov invalidate people, you gotta stay ahead of the meta. Yeah, we're back to doing nothing. Very interesting. Ricochet says, I found it's very counterable. Melting point or just electro shot? Yeah, electro shot is a big thing, I think. Person says, something I've been curious about. How does a DPS focus sledge build fare? Never tried it. I don't use sledges enough. Um, but here's the thing. Like anything in this game, it's very counterable if it's all you do. But I really like the idea of this as part of a balanced breakfast. That's always the key to this game. If you just go out there and be like, <laughs> I'm going to make all my units have armor enhancement. Then you're going to get lasered, marksman, phoenix, any billions of the ways that that can be countered. Tech, yeah, like Electroshot has said. Electroshot, when you get like fucked up tech builds... As always, just like turning off people's tech is a fantastic way to be like, well, don't, um, with Electro Shot. But the big thing is that it's part of a build. It's part of an army, I mean. Like, if you have only armored sledges and balls and all this shit, yeah, okay, it's counterable. If you have, like, some arc lights in your comp and you just happen to turn on this armor enhancement thing for them, hey, that could be pretty good as long as it doesn't cost too much money. Hey, you like how much is it again? It's a hundred! And this is what someone said, I want to know who they are. Say your name again, whoever it was, so I can remember you. This is what they said, what's so great about it on the arc lights is it's so cheap. You can pay a hundred and all your arc lights have this now. That's pretty handy. Especially because they're good against the units that are going to be stopped by it the most. Mustangs and Fangs. They're good at just fucking them up. Barley says, I like DPS Sledge because you pair it with Crawlers and you just eat the enemy front line, but of course there's zero AA. What do you do for DPS Sledge? Like, Mechanical Rage and Armor Piercing Bullets? I'd, I'd have to get rid of my favorite things, which is Tank Sledge, though I never use Sledge that much for it, but um... But yeah, like, this doesn't quite hop, doesn't quite double your, your damage. It seems quite expensive. I don't know, I feel like there's other ways to do it, but I don't use sledges a lot. Range it up with that, I think. Mm. If someone says another advantage of DPS sledges versus tanky sledges, they level up, but if they're just as a weak damage, they don't level up. Yeah, I think sledges are good anyway, which is why I also don't really feel it. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, usually... <coughs> ah. Usually I feel like sledges do a good job at killing what they're meant to kill, which is crowds. Let's get into a game. Ingrid says, I prefer range, elite, AA, EMP for arc lights. I had a nightmare level 6 art light that was chunking out Vulcans and Overlords. <laughs> range, elite, AA, and EMP. Nice. I don't think I have elite. I think I have armor enhancement on instead, yeah. Get out of my stuff. Shoe cats. Gamer. Um, aerial specialist, elite specialist. Oh, arc lights and stop colors. So crawlerable. You swap EMP for armor, says Cyclone. Mm. Speed spe be beautiful, like, turn of the century name. Um, speed specialist increases the movement speed of all units by three. I can see this on MSM Messenger, you know? I love that. Speedy crawlers and mustangs. Um, I'm glad I don't have storm crawlers. If I pick storm crawlers, <laughs> I would have been very upset. I would have been like, oh, well, I'm fucking useless, aren't I? My missiles are going to miss everything. Miss me with that. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I, I took too long talking and I need to get some shit placed here. Um, I think we need arc lights. I think we need arc lights very heavily. We 
need arc lights, but I need to like spread shit out so missiles don't kill them all at once. A bit. Which means probably put the balls in the center. Please ask me questions, by the way, chat, if you when want to play in this game. Like, at Beagle Rush me, at Beags and Jammy, I mean, so I can see it come up highlighted. But I know there's a lot to learn about this game. If you want to get into this game, please ask me questions. I'm going to have to put that in my title. Like, hey, ask me questions, because I love talking about this game. Um, is this decent? Whatever. But. So they've gone for very forward spawn, so I'm glad I didn't go too far back with the fangs or anything. But now we've got the arc lights are going to wreck the crawlers, while the fangs tanking also wreck the crawlers, and then we have the balls. Ooh, but the fucking crawlers are shredding because they've got to me on the right. I'm going to lose. The arc lights are good, but at, at this point they're not quite good enough to stop all of that shit at once. Um, we know what upgrade to buy next turn though, don't we folks? You need sledge front line? No, I need to just put armor enhancement on my crawlers. I mean, sledges would help here too, yeah. But I don't have enough money for that next turn, next round. Next round is probably two more arc lights with armor enhancement. Then you need a sledge front line. Okay, it's round two semi. Um, how are we going to afford two sledges? I'm not. Silence. Oh, you can spectate. <laughs> Cyclone is spectating my magic. Thinks my opponent will win. Debt? Sammy, you do not go into fucking debt on round two. Unless you're doing something insane. Oh, they're going to get this. They're going to go so hard in the, into... Are you the beagle? They're going to go so hard in the crawls. Um, free shield or better shields? Free shield. Um, no, hey, it's a viewer. No, it's a viewer from like 10 years ago. <laughs> Hang on. Um, go like this. And this. And go armor enhancement. This is why nobody watches you. <laughs> I know! You push them away. I know! <laughs> they know I am because that's what I say to everyone for the past 10 years and then everyone else asks that question. I can't let them know that I'm that person or they're going to feel too happy when they slaughter me. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they feel good? I remember your long walk campaign so good. I'm still doing them, you fucker! They still exist! You can still watch them! Oh, those crows are gonna fucking kill me. What am I doing? Ah! Oh, I should have put them in the middle. Too late. Fucked up. So we just got like more hordes, right? More crawlers and shit. Yeah, they're really getting through really hard on the right, but the armor and the arc lights letting it take them way better. And it helps that like arc lights are just good against everything they're playing. Is there another sledge front line? Well, I just won. So now you don't go sledges because now you're just doubling down on what you're already good at. Now you want to do your own thing. Don't fall into just reacting to the enemy constantly. We're already winning against the crowds, so now do something else that forces them to react is what we want. Question is what? Um, I like the idea of skill specialist here, just for more shields in general. Make sure we upgrade, especially because we have armor. I have a soft counter in being able to go A on the arc lights if I buy more of them, but I'd rather just like... What are they not good at stopping here? Their units are... Gonna be pretty bad against big things. I want to have air as well, though. Um, flying has got nothing to the back, yep. It's a good call. But I want to build something like interesting here, like... I didn't even unlock a new unit last round, I'm stupid. Uh, like, not Stormcallers, but maybe Stormcallers. Just something that's good in general. Maybe Phoenixes? Marksmen. Marksmen, 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 Marksmen. Marksmen would be really good. Because the next thing that's probably going to come is... Oh, you know what we should do? We should do both. Because I'm an air specialist, dude. Do, um... Do two sets of Phoenixes in the back, right? These are good because we're building up a Marksman core for larger units that are probably going to come out from them. And then... They're going to blow up the towers this turn, hopefully, and then next turn, we can jump drive them away. And just make them part of our marksmans. What are they going to buy? More crawlers! They just want more crawlers, man. Is this going to be enough crawlers to get through? Maybe. I need the phoenixes to save me. Phoenixes, hurry up! Oh! Phoenixes, shoot the things! Oh, no! Oh, the 
fucking timing! Unfortunately, we're both paralyzed. But it's okay, because I kill all the crawlers. Oh, these, these brave ground attack pilots completed their ace combat mission just in time. So they are still going like mad crawlers. We need to like shore that up a bit more. Armor enhancement on the ballers would be good too, because again, it immunizes me against anything else they do, and they're gonna have to do something else. I want to type only because my chat told me to, but... <laughs> yeah, so maybe like... Because again, I, I keep winning against the pure crowds. If they keep going pure crowds, you would think I'm going to end up winning. Because I'm already winning against it. So... Again, keep thinking of what could come instead. So let's upgrade these guys. Probably do armor enhancement on the balls and buy more balls. I do feel like maybe just more marks for Phoenix in general, because I feel like they're going to go air. I do have the fangs for that eventually. Um, do jump drive, because they're going to get countered now, you have to expect. Let's just get them out of there. Super light. I know, they're nice. Um, yeah, phoenixes go behind on each side here. I'm gonna put a missile that hopefully kills a bunch of shit on this side. This side. I want it to hit these guys. I would want to crush you all. Yeah, of course, I know it. I know that's what's wanted. So you were playing this one in the middle of like three other things? Ah, yes. That is the problem, isn't it? I too play Mecha Bellum while folding my laundry and just go, ah, fuck it, crawlers! Fangs, nice. Or just decrease cost. I think just make fangs better. Increase range by 15. Yeah, just make fangs a bit better. It's always fun. I think it's funny that we just did like the tests on armor enhancement and then go straight into a match that like is shows us how good it is to have armor enhancement. Wait, did they not do anything about it? What? What? No, they, they do counter, yeah. They do counter. However, bun -da -da -dun. now we're going to go into debt. Actually, we don't need to, but we should anyway. Bun -da -da -dun. You want to place them not on them, but so that they get the units you want to get. <laughs> Alright, and the Rhino's coming back with the armor enhancement. Oh, melting points! <laughs> he knows about the channel. They, they know about the channel because they can see it. They, they, they can see it in the, um... 
Uh, I've got a thing up here. Beagle is live at Twitch. Click on the icon to go to the stream. They were very nice. I like them. They, they, they were nice. They're a great sport about me being like a little bit of a shit to them too, which I always appreciate in a multiplayer game. <laughs> but yeah, we, we just talked about the... Um... Click here to stream snipe. Oh yeah, fuck! Why do I link this? Oh yeah, people could just like literally be playing against me and then click it and like hear what I'm going to do against them. Why do I allow this? I shouldn't. I'm going to take this off. God damn it. But then it brings viewers to my channel. So I guess it's good. <laughs> like, I guess people in the Mechabellum community will start to know of me. And they'll be like, hey, it's that streamer. You can just click on them and, and snipe them. Um, so you MMR for money. Yeah. It's kind of like when I played Mortal Online too, And like, streamers like would get sniped constantly, but also became popular. But anyway, um, until I realized that, I didn't care about it, so it's all good. Anyway, um, we were just talking about... We were just talking about um, the importance of armor enhancement. We go straight to a match that demonstrates it perfectly. The melting point's coming at the end, which, you know, is a thing. We've got the fangs as well from the start. And yeah, you know, the entire line is Mustangs and Crawlers. Like, you, you couldn't ask for a much better demonstration of armor enhancement there, where you get it on the arc lights. Look at these damn arc lights. Level 3 arc light. You get it on the balls we started with, you know, and then you can just go for the flank rhinos. And the flank rhinos, again, with pretty cheap armor enhancement, just go here. Um, the Mustangs, it, it's very common to place Mustangs in counter to air flank, right? Like, you, you'll do this with Phoenixes or Wasps, and the immediate next thing that comes out is Mustangs. Because everyone loves to put Mustangs in the back, it's a good counter. They're a great AA unit, everyone understands they are the AA unit, they're, just, they're, they're Tunguska of this game, they're the Shilka. Um, and they're fast, so you place them in the back and they will join the rest of your line pretty quickly after they're done with your flank. And they can kill crawlers and stuff too, so it's good. But, uh, Mason says I knew about the jump drive and I thought about it. Mason, are you, uh, Mui the Cow? Um, but what's great about that is obviously the jump drive, because you, you need to counter the, for the air units anyway, because if you don't, and they don't jump drive, then you die again. You are Mui, yeah, welcome. We were just saying that it was, it was fun to fight you and you're very, very nice. Oh, Crabs kind of wants to do team match matching. Not yet, Crabs, but give me like a couple more 1v1s and then we'll 2v2. Um, but, yeah, because then you put in Mustangs is very common, what you see against air, and then you drop in the Rhino with armor enhancement, which I now know works at level 1. So now you drop in a flanking Rhino with armor enhancement, and it's like, oh, oh no. Even with flank sickness, this thing is just going to go, Nyeh. And Rhinos love to kill towers, folks. They love it. And then by killing the tower and the protecting Mustangs, they're going to level up. And they're going to get to work towards their next level. And as they level up, Armor Enhancement gets even better. So I like that a lot. This is really good knowledge. This is really good knowledge. Where Where is Krabs? Uh, how do I message Krabs? I want to message Mr. Krabs. Arathen, are you in my chat right now? I don't even know how to... Where's, like, the friends list? Mason says, I was working towards Crawler Bill, but I threw it in Starstruck. I'm gonna eat now, huh? Now I can learn. You're welcome, welcome. Anyway, Arothan, if you're in chat, um, I'll play with you in a few matches. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> this anime girl, this Ugu girl has... More combat power than I am. Being please let's see in game chat how to count on melting points. There's no way. Elite specialist, giant specialist, quick supply specialist, Rhino. But yeah, welcome, uh, welcome, Mui. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still playing Long War Mui. If you didn't know, uh, giant specialist might be nice. Oxman and Mustangs. Curtis says, Rhinos are, very, are dangerous flankers because it's very easy to snap them up with hackers. Yes. One thing I think is always really good with your Rhinos, though, and you can't really find them, but one thing I think is always very good is to always place your units prepared to mix something else in on a flank. So if you have crawlers or Rhinos and you place them back here, and they go, oh, steel balls, then you put a unit of crawlers in front. It's a very basic but effective thing to remember with positioning your flankers. Okay, so the enemy has supply specialist, 50 additional supplies per round. Crawlers and storm callers. Please tell me I'm fast. Eh, kind of not really. I need some crawlers. I need some crawlers. So my crawlers gonna get stuck on their crawlers, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We need to place the crawlers up front enough that they are going to screen. So we we need to deploy with the idea that we are going to be screening. 
the storm crawlers for the whole match with our crawlers, okay? So we're gonna go like that. Mustangs wanna be like back a bit, especially to deal with flanks, but not too far. Cause you wanna you don't wanna let the storm crawlers just like hit your towers, that would fucking suck. And if they place them right here, oh well, it will happen again. I guess you could place these ones like here. And that should defend from that happening, hopefully. And then we want like our snipers. And we don't want to we don't wanna like cluster. We wanna be like very spread out for this match. We don't wanna cluster. We don't wanna cluster for shields. We wanna be like very spread out for storm colors so that they're less effective. Uh, maybe go to like here, because again, don't wanna cluster. So go like that and like that and wait, where the fuck's the other one? Ah! Oh god! Now my crawlers are a bit in front is the problem, so it depends on where they place. They're gonna wreck me. What the fuck? They got sledges. I'm done. They're gonna obliterate me here. Because my crawlers are gonna get tied up in their crawlers, and unless they kill them quick enough to move on, the storm crawlers will kill them. The sledges are gonna wreck them on that side, and the sledges will kill the mustangs. I'm gonna get destroyed and shredded this round, I think. Because those sledges are just gonna emasculate me here, live on TV. Did better on the left than I could have hoped, but that's because there were no sledges there, of course. Nuke Man says, I like how crawlers are with the arty, but fangs can't. Because crawlers are fast. Yeah. Look out! Really, in-game chat is talking about feet. Well, as long as they're not saying slurs. Subsidized marksman, assault melting point. Ooh. They were talking about come earlier. That's fine, I do that too. Ser seriously, though, like, isn't it meant to not? Hide messages from opponents while in combat. Hide public chat while in combat. There you go. It had to be cycled back on. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, cheaper marksman for later. Right now, it's not going to help me, though. I think I need arc lights. Mm, what am I? Giant specialist. Vulcan would have been better, but I don't have the money. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Arc light steals with the crawlers, which may be enough to let me win the rest of the match. Debt Vulcan? No, I don't go into debt this early, I don't think. Oh, uh, Rhino. Of course, I always forget that Rhinos exist. Uh, and I really shouldn't because they're amazing. Rhino, buddy. Just go fucking Rhino and another marksman on the right, or another unit of crawlers, perhaps. We'll, like, have you deployed back a bit so that you can take, like, the next wave of Storm Crawlers, maybe? No, go for the Storm Crawlers like this, actually. It won't really work, but whatever. Um, yeah, where the fuck do we want the Rhino? We want to, like, carry Rhino. We want the Rhino to come in. And, like, hit the sledges. Wait. So, like this. This should work. I always forget Rhinos exist. And I shouldn't, because they're a very good unit. Because they're fast as well. And I think the Rhino might might bring me victory here. So the Storm Crawlers are busy with my Crawlers. Now the Rhino gets in there. Unfortunately, the Crawlers are just killing it too quick. Before it can do its job it needed to do, which is kill the enemy Sledges. So I think I'm still in trouble. Yeah, I'm still in trouble. So now I think we can afford and need to get the Vulcans. Awaken the Wasps? Uh, I don't... Yeah, I mean, flying units is free here, right? I need to do something because we need body. No, they have Mustangs. It's not free. Probably Vulcans. No balls, balls of armor. Balls? Oh yeah, balls would kill the sledges, but Vulcans kill the crowds. Uh, balls, 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 balls. Balls could be balls. Balls to the balls. I don't have enough for a lot of Vulcaning, so yeah, balls with armor could actually be really good. You make a good point. I can't get the armor this turn, but I can get two sets of balls. 
Falcons can kill Sedges again, can't, can't they? They can, yes. They definitely can. Attack is increased by 100%. I don't know who I want to put that on yet. Probably a Vulcan when I get one, inevitably. I want to pull the sledges onto balls and not kill my crawls. Don't kill my crawls. Fight my balls. Fight balls. Mass recruitment by another marksman. Never marks will be good over here. So they got. I'm glad I didn't get a Vulcan then because I got a melting point. Which is good. Their army is like balanced. They're doing a good army. I like that. Well, unless they just built up the counter of the Rhino, in which case that's kind of small brain. But, but, but if it's not just for the Rhino, it's big brain. But if they were just like, huh, Rhino and both a melting point, it's kind of small brain. We'll see. Damn, crabs come off is like, you're gonna lose. Thanks, crabs come off. I, I think crabs come off is right at this point still. I'm definitely losing constantly. But like a temporarily embarrassed billionaire, I'm sure I'm about to win. Hey, what are you guys doing? Get out of there! Would you stop? I'm trying to do my goddamn job and you little fuckers. Ah, oh, my cats are just going crazy lately. Ugh. All right, um, what's going on? He's in trouble. Uh, he's in a lot of trouble. Hey, marksmen are free, what the fuck? I've never seen this combo before, but that's fun. Okay, what's ruining me here? Um, fuck, I got distracted. What's ruining me? I need, I need Vulcans, right? I see I was gonna get Vulcans. But did I win on the left? I can't remember. I'm gonna get a Vulcan, because I'm a giant specialist too. And I'm gonna get three marksmen. This is an interesting thing I have not seen before. You want the Vulcan to be, like, not melting pointed here? Put it, like, in the center. I really want to pull, like, the crawlers onto me, though. Fucking shit. Ah, what the fuck? That's... No. Ah, what the fuck? Here, I need to do, like, some of this shit. Do you mean you should turn it off? I said because you gave me the chat. Oh, no, I... I... No, I just can't see spectator talk, I think. What did they even buy? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, upgraded... Upgraded melting point. Scary, scary. Marksman, please kill it! Marksman, please! Oh, it's so healthy, what the fuck? Level 1 melting points have 65k, Jesus. That's kind of scary. Please kill that thing. Okay, I don't know if it's enough, but we'll see. I don't think it's enough. MP doesn't give a fuck. Unfortunately. Need more damage. Ouch. This is the last round here, win or lose. Win or die! One on the left. MP ruining me on the right. What do we do about MP? Not more crowds. I have enough crowds. Just need more damage to kill it. Maybe an Overlord. Most of their line does nothing to air. 
Get like one unit of marksmen, which is dying. Get this with the Overlord Artillery. Put one on each side because they're likely to place a multi-point on the other side that they're losing. So like, keep covering this side. Think you dead this one? Oh yeah, dead. Oh yeah, dead. Mass recruitment, more free marksmen. Wait, did I not even move those guys last round? Oopsie. Whoopsie, I fuckied up. Alright, win or lose, let's just see it. So they didn't go rid of MP. It's all down to if this Overlord can get through that MP, I think. We're gonna find out. We're gonna Vulcan through the crawlers quickly to get to work. The Mustangs are gonna buy us some time. We need to get onto the melting point. Gotta get onto. Uh oh, uh oh, it's too late! It's too late! Fuck, that's bad. Not enough screen. But we've got another Overlord over here. It may not all be lost yet. Multi, uh, multi laser MP is like legitimately very scary though. Like legitimately, it's very frightening. It makes the unit, much like the hackers, it makes them much less brittle, much less of a gimmick. Oh fuck, this is bad. I think we're gonna lose. Fuck. Yeah, it's just too much, man. I need more screen now. Like fangs, maybe? What do they got? Sledgies, okay. I got an idea. It's gonna work or it isn't. It's, it's great, it's, it's gonna work or it isn't, you know? Hang on, upgrade that. Should have gone for level 2 units. Hang on, do shields. I think I can still afford to. Where is level 2? Falcon upgrade? I probably should have, but I didn't. I don't know if I'm crazy for this, but we're gonna try it out. Has come now. Hang on now. Hang on now. This this. Hang on now. MP one strategy level. It may be that this MP has just bodied me today. It may indeed be. We'll see. Level three MP. Here we go. Overlord, do not walk around. No, the fangs will be fine. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Go Fangs! Oh, we're out of Fangs! It is so fucking healthy, god fucking damn it, Jesus. Holy shit, it's gonna- it's just too- it's too far. It's got energy, it's got lifesteal vamp. It's just too strong, come on. Fucking kill it. Please fucking kill it, I'm begging you. Yes, shoot the tower. Oh my god, the vamp is so fucking strong in it, please. <laughs> I need anti-tech. I need anti-tech right now, that's what I need. I need storm callers. Yeah, or Electro on Marksman. Oh, Marksman EMP, you're so right. You're so damn right. You're so damn right. And smoke bomb. I need shields because he's gonna nuke me. Any more fangs? Smoke the MP. Like, just- JUST smoke the MP, like, smoke- 
just smoke it like this. Like all the way into my line. I need to get shields, cause yeah, that could be really bad. What else are we gonna buy? Um, EMP on Marksman, yeah. And then probably just more fangs. Upgrade the this, upgrade the this. I can't afford fangs, so probably just more marksmen. Oh, I need to get more fangs. They are useful, I need to get them. Can I forget? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I think I, I think I did. They put the shields up. Freddy, you did? I did? Oh. Shit. Oh god, the MP's everywhere. Enemies everywhere! Need to get the electro shots onto them and take out their... Uh, fucking tech. There you go. Take that tech out. They're back to a single beam. Of course. We said it ourselves this morning. When the enemy has scary tech, just turn their tech off. But the Stormcrawler's on the Marksman blob, which I accidentally placed in the wrong spot, like, rounds ago. Save us! Shoot that thing! Oh, almost, almost in time. Yep, good. When enemy has annoying tech, just say no. This is a critical thing to remember. It's very easy to forget for some reason in this game. But when the enemy has tech that's winning in the game, just say fucking no. Just turn it off. Parasitic could have been good against MPs, but we're going to go for stronger fangs, which was probably the wrong choice. Over Sammy says, I think you just go hard, uh, go hard on Overlords now. He's no good counter versus them. Meh. Can I get Elite Marksman? No, I don't have that. I only have Range Enhancement. Elite Marksman would have been really good here. Upgrades in everyone. Shield. Debt. Nuke. Unt. Make sure you get mass recruitment for free marksmen. Unt. More fang. Und free marksman. Und, und, und. Fuck, what else? Quick. Crawler. Crawler division. That's it. Oh god, that's bad for me. <gasps> that is very bad! Fangs, no! Fangs, no! No, Fangs, no! Oh no, that's really bad on that side. Insanely, I didn't. S oh no. Maybe the nuke is good over here at least. But uh, that is insanely bad. Tech that fucker down. Take away their range too. They're four, four upgraded melting points, so anti teching them is so good. And makes you look kind of funny. Yeah, fire my only weakness. I think I can do photon overlords now. But it doesn't help against the fire much, I guess. One more round, baby. One more round. One more round. Fight on for free. Upgrade thingies. Oh, the fire doesn't last two rounds, so that's good. Make sure to 
Ink nuke. Yeah, they'll nuke me. I think you're right. You should make your prediction win against me too. You can do that? Why can you do that? Um, if I just place crawlers back here, by the way, do I just like... Pull you off? Okay, hurry up, hurry up. What else do I buy? What else do I buy? Um... Shooting squad. More shields. I will get nuked, defending against some of it in the middle. I get three fangs and everyone. The melting points are distracted by crawlers for the start of the game. I'm gonna lose some units in the middle here. I have a shield there would have been great instead of one here. Look out! Oh, but the mice are gonna be okay because the shield protects them. Going in now. Falcons flaming. Fangs are fanging. Towers are down. And that's the Symphony of War, folks. That's it. GG. Fangs were the heroes of the... Oh, and of course you leave, like, the moment before. Of course you do. Because you're not having a good day now, are you, champ? Now, people laughed when I went for the fangs when I was about to lose. People were like, fangs? Like, I saw some people laugh. Um, fangs are great. Like, when we could have bought anything, but we, we funneled into leveled up fangs immediately into energy shield and then put the heavy armor onto the fangs. Well, I didn't. Well, I think some people were like, it's over. Um, fangs are really good. And the reason we go for the energy shield and the extra health isn't to make them better against the melting point who will just kill them anyway, but to make them last longer against the sledges, who are the real issue here. The, the sledges and the storm callers are good against crowds, but yeah, anti tech also turned to tile. I agree with that. Someone, someone's chat suggestion to get anti tech on the. I was going to get it on storm callers, but someone said on marksmen, which is was good because I already have marksmen to leverage. But yeah, like keeping the fangs. As a crowd unit that was al alive long enough against sledges and storm calls, which are anti-crowd, but they're not as hard anti-crowd as napalm. Allows the fangs to survive long enough, you've invested enough in them that they're going to survive against their normal, like, slaughterers and their normal predators here of sledges. To then tie time for the melting points and also do damage, by the way. And then allows the overlords to have enough time to kill them. Just, just works. The fangs made that work. It was a, the balance the army needed. And this is what's so fun about Mechabellum, and what's so cool about it, is that the game isn't just about going direct counters. You should not look at an army that is like, has tanks that do HE explosions and be like, infantry will save me here, if it was just direct counters. But the thing is that, the thing is that Fangs upgraded enough here, with especially the item and the energy shield, and just in general having the energy shield, are going to be able to then do a bit better. It's not about direct counters, it's about... Not every unit is just a direct counter to each other, it's nuanced. It's about the systems that make them better or worse at each other. And yeah, it was, you know, it was this thing we talk about, or I talk about with, when you're winning, just trying to invest more in a thing you're already winning in makes you brittle. Like, this player is like, okay, Melting Point is, is winning me the game, so make Melting Point even better. And the problem is they didn't invest in, like, eight Melting Points. They invested in four tech upgrades for the Melting Points, which is... An insane amount of money, and look how little of an army they have. Like, they have their starting units, and then, like... What? Some crawlers and a unit of Mustangs. The, every unit, every, like, dollar they had went into, like, just all these upgrades. That's, like, thousands of credits. Like, 3,000 credits. I swear, just all in the melting points. And then, yeah, someone in chat, you know, was absolutely right. Don't even do the EMP on the Stormcallers, do it on the Marksmen, because you don't have Stormcallers yet. The free Marksmen, by the way, which is awesome. Having free Marksmen is so fucking cool. Um, and yeah, it's just like, I'm just going to turn off your 2,000, 3,000 credit investment. How do you feel about it?
It's great. And if you had Photon, you know what was funny is they only needed one round to beat me. And what they could have done is gone for Photon emission, so at least for 16 seconds, um, I can't enough their tech. But I think by the time we were killing the melting points, it was later in the round. But yeah, like that also, like they nearly got me. And melting point is much, much more effective with a multi beam. Um, because, like of the hackers, I didn't realize this when I first looked at the melting points. So when I saw the thing with melting point, it's like. Um, allows them to fire five rays that each deal 70% of their original damage. I didn't assume that you could still be allowed to combine these rays into a single target. I assumed that it was like, you can either have single target melting point or multi melting point, but you can't really have both. But you kind of can have both because it lowers your range a bit, which sucks. But the fact that you can still combine all the beams onto one target means that you're not losing a huge amount of damage. You're losing like 20%, I think, overall. But on an exponential laser like this, I don't think that really matters too much, even less than the hacker. Yeah, the range decrease is the biggest deal, as Cyclone says, absolutely. And then you see how much more effective it makes the MPs, because MPs also have, like, a tiny bit of splash. So a, a five-beam MP can actually, like, kill a lot more units than you'd think. And they're very scary. Like, they're just a good, scary unit. They're, like, the artillery giant. And I don't use them enough. I should use multi-beam melting pots more. Because, as you see, they're just good. Imagine if instead of just putting all their eggs into the MPs, they had kept these effective MPs that started winning against me from round one, but then they had started expanding their army to be as wide and balanced and powerful and varied and numerous as mine was. Look at, imagine if they had this army, but instead of the overlords, they have the MPs. You know? But imagine if they have like this many fucking units and the MPs, what the fuck am I gonna do? You know? MP over anti-interference cards, that should be scary, yeah. So I think that this match teaches us a lot to respect the MP. It did a great work there, but... But the problem is... Oh. <laughs> do I not get combat power because they surrendered, by the way? It's like a little cheese people are doing right now. If you just like leave, I don't think you lose your combat power or something dumb. Oh. You got it, did I? Oh, yeah, go. I love them now. Yeah, MPs are legitimate. They're legitimately scary. You just need the multi beam to make them legitimate. It's five minutes. Yeah, I think if they leave in the first five minutes of a match right now. I believe in someone named, I can't believe it's not Smegma, to do the most foul fucking shit immediately. Yeah, quick supply specialist, by the way. Hmm. What do I want to do? Crabs comes off, thinks you will win. I was thinking of an immediate Phoenix refund, yeah. Where's the thing? You can do it once, right? Now, what am I going to buy with that? Not that. I don't even know what I want off that. Honestly, I don't know why I did it. Just more crawlers. <laughs> Just go really hard into them. I don't, I, I don't even know why I did that. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. A oh, rhino, I get a rhino, I guess. But then I still can't... What am I doing? What the, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I have no idea. I despise myself, so I'm gonna go to the round one death. I'm gonna get two of them. This is the, this is the only way! I have no idea what I'm doing! I have zero idea. I'm gonna screen my rhinos... ...with crawlers. So do they kill the marksman? And this is like the only idea I have. I've, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I don't know. Put at the front. No, because I don't want them to get killed by the marksman. I want the crawlers in front. If there's any hope here, I want it to be from this. Because the marksman will kill the rhinos too quickly. But if we get through the mustangs in time, we can make it work. Uh-oh, they're on me. Rhinos, go! Go, rhino! Hurry! Go with God, you're our only hope. Get the tower! Get that fucking tower! You are our only hope! Oh! Yes! 
falls. Go, go, go! The entire kingdom of Terran Terrace Mithril depends on you. Oh my god, yes. I mean, at least I didn't go fully in a debt and lose. That would have been bad. So that was a weird start for me. I guess when you don't know what you're doing, neither does the enemy. You can't really see, I think, two rhinos coming. One of them leveled. Oh boy. One of them leveled. Ooh, 100 cost phoenixes. Do you want to do the strat for phoenix bullshit this round? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's free. Oh, I have no money. <laughs> oh, I have no money! <laughs> Upgrade this. Now we buy the phoenixes back, but cheaper. But it seems, it seems bad if you already sold back one of your phoenixes. No, it's the art of the deal. I just I sold the phoenix for 200, now I get them back for 100. This is the art of the deal, actually. You just did it again? I did. I'm in the spiral. The Rhino's winning on that side, so put the flanky phoenix on this side. What are you doing to bet on Beagle? We'll get out of debt one day, just not today. I'm so fucking in debt. I gotta stop being in debt, goddammit. <laughs> oh god, I'm in so much debt. Oh no. Woe be upon ye indeed. Both a game in real life, true. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, if I got on the other side, it would have worked. Oh no. They're just going more marksmen. So they have double shot. They have double shot, they have a range enhancement. They have quick reload, okay. They're ready for me if I go for the Phoenix cheese. I think. But if I spam Phoenixes, it kind of keeps up with their marksman spam too, I don't know. I'm gonna lose this round almost certainly. Unless the Rhino can do it again. Do it again, Rhino. Just do it again. I don't know how, but do it again. Go! Go! Yo, Gallo Sengen! Oh no, it's gonna get the thing and I'm gonna lose. No, please. Please, stop them, stop them! Phoenix has stopped them! Oh, you stopped one of- you, There's only two left. It could actually be all the difference. Because now, there's time. There's time. There's time. There's time! Oh, God! Go, Rhino, go! Go! Fucking go! Engage. <laughs> Sneed's Tinker Machine is at it again. Uh, do Steel Bills do anything for me here? Try not try to go to debt here. What was it? Balls. 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 Mustangs. Balls. Balls. Mustangs. Armor enhancement. Holy shit, armor enhancement in general. Uh. Oh, I can't afford it. Hard on the crawls, no AoE. Crawlers don't have armor enhancement. This is armor enhancement time, I feel like, for the rhinos. Maybe crawlers too. Fuck, what am I gonna buy? Um. Free shit. Any shit that's free. Crabs come off thinks that you will win. CP did not skip, I did not skip, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Any more units? Any more units? Any more units? Crawlers. Crawlers, 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 crawlers. More crawlers, more crawlers, crawlers. I think this is wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I respect Sammy as a as an, an individual. I don't feel like this is gonna work, but that's okay. It's okay to feel like it's not gonna work. The point was to get out of the debt this turn, and we have at least accomplished that. Oh god! Santa, you fucking chump! Why the fuck do I listen to Sammy? No. 
But we got another debt. We got another debt. Or we could have bought other ways this mark. No, we could have bought phoenixes. More phoenixes, you fool. We need more phoenixes. More phoenixes would have been way better here. We may still win. We may still win because we get the tower. And that level 2 Rhino was so, so busted. So busted. Go, man, go. You literally won the flank due to the crawlers. Yeah, okay. Sammy's not actually dumb. It did still work. But now definitely more phoenixes. Heal on that Rhino, make it invincible, maybe- Wow! Wow! Not even though, just go for like, up damage sentry missiles maybe, you don't even need them. Wow, we're out of debt, which is good. Um, Armor enhancement is so mega based here. Hang on, um, upgrade that. And go for armor enhancement. And like, self-heal, field minions, go back into debt and get this. But I want phoenixes too. Beagle's smart enough to put Krill's on the correct side. Yeah, it was all planned, of course. They still didn't screen this. Like, usually I don't go flank to flank, because I'm like, well, of course they're going to see it coming and defend both their flanks. What, what kind of person wouldn't? But then they don't, and it's like, okay. Um, come over here. Yeah, run every gym and get next turn, that's right. Killed a really nice Mustangs in the center. You can't put these on Rhinos, right? No, they're not giants. What's the buy? A shielded Vulcan on the right, which I should have seen coming. They do have Marksman countering this now. It distracts them, which is the best we can save with those Phoenixes. At least they're cheap. Or often that's fucked. That means you can like work with your friends to like ghost games. That's that's bad. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. Okay, very armored Rhino, but we did incredible speed here. The enemy has a lot of marksmen, but critically they have not been leveling because they've been getting bodied every round, which is not good when you're doing like the marksman spam strat. You need them to be like leveling and being good. However, this might be the first round I actually lose here because the be the bearded the the shielded Vulcan. Unless I can get that tower before they kill mine. Oh, okay, I think I win. I think I just barely win because of that. This game has been completely decided by me hitting the towers. I need to get a laser for this. Like a strategic melting point. Or just more rhinos. Just rhinos to fight their Vulcan. Just like get a bunch of them. Fortess? Yeah, Fortess could be alright. Flank core. Yeah, that looks good. They're probably gonna put that on the other Vulcan. Why is this one never leveling? Because this one's getting more marksmen on them, I think. It's there's too many marksmen in front of oh the, and the Vulcan is killing all the crawler support for them. Um some balls or overlords. Mmm. Overlords with the ground guns, probably. I'm probably gonna get nuked. I should have seen that coming. I can't get the ground gun because I fucked up unless I re field recover something, which I can totally do. I can totally do that. Meet them. I just bore your crawlers, see? Mmm. Mmm. I see. Shouldn't I realize you can't scrap units only, unfortunately. Keep killing these guys. I hope I don't get nuked. That would be like sad. I'd be very sad if I got nuked. I'm not gonna get nuked. They lack the imagination for that. They only know how to spam more marksmen. Overlords on their own are not a good thing to play in as many marksmen, but we'll see. They're really just trying to like spam endless marksmen until it kills my Rhinos, and this might be the turn they have enough. Definitely the level one one. Oh yeah, I, I think this could be the turn I lose, just because like the critical mass of marksmen has arrived. Yeah. Just like suddenly, critical mass of marksmen. Where the fuck did all that come from? How did they get that many? 
wasp reduction. I don't have wasp reduction on my mother ships. Storm crawlers could be good, but I just need more frontline now, I think. Like balls and probably just balls that turn into crawlers. Probably just balls that turn into crawlers. Get the sub -div mechanical division. Upgrade these fuckers. Oh, you don't even have a- You don't even have an upgrade? Oh, fuck. I don't really know why I did it, just, uh, seemed like a thing to do. I just can't help being in debt, it's a ton of fun. Um... Bar on the crawlers might work, or a acidic explosion. I can't bar on the crawlers anyway. Are the crawlers really doing any damage to them? No, the Vulcans just destroyed them, so don't waste money on that. I, don't, I, I had no reason to doubt here. Oh, missile strike. Whoops. If anything is on one side to be left for tower again, yeah, I think so. We need to hit the towers, you're right. So many marksmen, and my, my army isn't super great against so many marksmen. And we're not killing the Vulcans fast enough to stop the crawlers. And now the marksmen are leveling up, and big bad things are happening to me. Too many marksmen. It is the problem. I need more balls to turn into more crawls, almost, but I don't know, I, I feel like I'm just like behind the marksman curve now, it's scary, it's really scary. Oh no, there we go though, the balls, the balls are coming into the clutch at the end. Turning into the crawls will be incredible here, because it's delayed crawlers, which is essential. I think more balls, what about hackers here? No, more balls, I think. The marksman at the end are the problem, we want things that turn into crawlers at the end to fuck the marksman. Without the, without the crawlers there, I lose this, I think. The crawlers really do it. So now I think just like spam as many um, crawlers, uh, crawler ballers as you can. Flood flanks of crawlers. That would work kind of too. Go for a knockout in general. I mean, balls also get through the shield Vulcans, which are also the problem in my front line. Go for this in the center. Do those crawlers inherit upgrades? They do. More balls. More, 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 more balls. More, 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 more. Mass recruitment. As many balls as you can ball, please. Please, sir. Many balls. Shields. Yeah, I'm gonna get nuked. Great point. Though my army doesn't really work with shields, but, um, yeah. Probably would have been better to just, like, upgrade the overlords. I still can do that, kind of. I never used this barrier. That was a waste. Uh, who else can be upgraded? Are we just going to do the... I think the overlords. Overlord. See if I win or lose. Ooh, EMP marksman. That's really bad. That can that's a great option against my bowler crawlers. I think I'm in some trouble now. Unless the orbital bombardment can kill enough of them. It's killing a lot. It's killing enough, I think, hopefully. I don't know, like, oh, but the the lack of crawlers here is gonna be so deadly to me. It's just gonna be night and day difference. I think the Orbital Bombardment, though, will skew it in my favor just enough. Yes! Please tell me I won, because this match is getting out of hand. I think I won. This match is getting out of hand. Woo! That was getting close. We didn't like where that one was going. The critical mass of Marksman was starting to get a little difficult to deal with there. So I'm glad we won that one when we did. But yeah, you'll see a lot of people do this... Um, 
where they just like their their strategy is did you know that marksmen if you have 20 of them kill everything uh you ever know what yeah no one wants to stick around for the last five seconds because you know it, that's that's insulting to them um but yeah marksmen are incredibly strong and they have weaknesses like to crowds but if you have 20 marksmen uh, and they're cheap so you can get that many then it doesn't fucking matter fuck everything you have and especially because you can have a balanced army like vulcans at the front that get through the crowds so you know, it's just it's just a because Vulcans will kill any number of crowds at the same time. Like it doesn't matter if a Vulcan is shooting at one crawler or one million crawlers. If they're in the same generalized area, they're all going to die at the same rate. So Vulcans can be a very very effective frontline that cost effectively you know, like tanks and slays your shit fast enough, and then the balance of marksmen in the back just kills everything else. But um, kind of lame. At least they threw out the GG. At least at the GG. You reckon? I thought you were saying they did. But yeah, um, I think the Overlord Artillery was handy for getting through the shields, but fuck it was scary because that's just when I noticed them starting to like really make those marksmen come online. I think the big turning point was the EMP on the marksmen. That, that stopping the mechanical division crawlers could have been huge. I think the Overlord Bombardment in the middle saved me because rarely do you put a shield in the middle, you shield your sides. Generally, most people do, I do it as well. So the, the middle deployed marksmen really got rolled by that. Um, but yeah, fucking weird round I played from the start. Hey, like with the, the cell phoenixes into rhinos. <laughs> it's a fucking weird round. But hey, I mean, that, that rhino was, was unit of the match, right? Not even. That unit was not even unit of the match. Top two in kills. Who was unit of the match? Top two damage on this overlord. They did good. Top one overall round damage. Who had the most kills? Top three kills. Top one damage on this overlord on the right with the upgrade. Which unit had more kills? Ah, this Phoenix. Even even with the subsidized Phoenix debuffs. Top one the whole time. Units like this will often do this. I find Phoenixes are these units that like will just do their work the whole match and you won't even notice how good they're doing. Bani says the first turning point was plus range. Is it made your Phoenix unable to close to get the killer marks before they fire? Yeah. Range can be so powerful. And especially the thing you've got to watch out for in these later rounds of Mechabellum is when the enemy has a lot of one unit type and you're beating against it, but then suddenly they turn on a tech and it can be such a huge shift, like the Fang Shields thing. Like suddenly 20 marksmen all doubling their range and it's like, oh, I completely fall over now and die. And it's not even close. And you really got to be careful of that. Especially for a backline unit, it's harder to turn off their tech. Um, so that can be very scary. Tiberius is enjoying the music in terms of subcom. How long do you shotcast community tourney? Well, I'm already shotcasting the um, one for, for Paradox, just Speed Fighter Official, which will be out back again on this coming week. But um, I really actually want to do a community one because I really enjoyed it so much uh, doing it with Kanor the other day that I'd love to do one. <laughs> that I'd love to do one of the community as well. I'd love to do one for us, yeah. I I'd love to. I'd love to do a tourney for all y'all. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Speed, fangs, and sledges. Marksman reinforcements, crawler, phoenix. Rhino, mustang, crawler, supply specialist, steel wall, crawler. Let's go, supply specialist, crawl balls. I haven't done supply specialist in ages. It's a great game though, like, this this game is an incredible game. It's like this incredible lightning in the bottle blend of like, ease of play, strategic depth, action, spectator capability, player capability, discussion. It's crazy. I love this game. This is like my Counter-Strike, like it's fucking 1998 and this is like my game I'm gonna play for the next 30 years of my life straight, you know? Like, I, it's am I love it so far, it's fucking incredible. That reminds me, I'm gonna make a note, fuck. Okay, um... So... Uh, after this run, let's play of Crabs Come Off. I forgot I said I was gonna play of Crabs Come Off. So after this run, let's play some 2v2s. What the fuck am I doing? Quick Supply Specialist. I'm just Supply Specialist. Balls and Crawls versus Sledges and Marksmen's. Well, you think Beetle gonna win? <laughs> Why is that funny? Uh, probably my own... 
Marksman. <laughs> oh shit, you think Beetle gonna win? Probably my own Marksman against their Sledges. Or just, didn't I say crawl balls? Yeah, actually, do more crawl balls. Okay, so do more crawls. Fuck. Lay him out quick. Ah! Uh! Yeah? Okay. So the idea here is that they have AoE, anti-AoE sledges, and anti-single target marksmen. We don't want any one part of my line to like, we don't want to just be like crawlers in front because then the sledges kill them all. We don't want to just be balls in front because the marksmen kill them. We want to blend. So the idea here is to have the crawlers soak up the initial marksman shots till the sledges get in range. But then the, the sledges aggro onto the balls, the crawlers go right in without getting killed by sledges. Do you see how it works? So rather than putting all the crawlers in the front where they all die to sledge AoE or putting all the balls in front where they die to marksmen, we stagger our line a bit of both for a semi-advanced formation there. And it's, you know, you're scheduling. You're scheduling when fights what. Um, what do we want here? This is so good, I feel like, for the whole match. Especially if I keep going crowd so they can't just go into lasers easily. pre wasp isn't bad against Marksman. Maybe. Um, so air is the so obvious thing for them to buy. What did they buy of the 200 supply? They're probably, like, ecoing. One, two... Did they just buy like one, two, and then mass recruitment for a third one? Or are they ecoing for overlords? You gotta expect overlords to be the, like the very next thing that comes out. I would say Fangs, maybe? Or just Marksman. Fangs, as long as they come in after the sledges are dead. Let's go Fangs. I believe in Fangs. I believe in the awesome power of Fangs here. I believe it's going to happen. Probably get, like, early mechanical division as well. Though it doesn't protect me against overlords. Maybe just get, like, another unit of fangs. Ooh. Or bar immediately on the board. But they'll just go Vulcan. Go for mechanical division. Okay, let's see it. Okay, so here's the strat. Marksman spam. Oh, and uh, waspies. Hello. I'm glad I went fangs and not marksman. Hey. I don't know if I'm going to kill him though, so I think there's enough wasps I might be in trouble. Oh, it's a close fight. But I'm going to win against the wasps. Very nice. Fangs with the right call there. Who are they talking to? Oh, they're just like talking to us in general. Is that Wasp one power? I think that was a buy, wasn't it? Was Wasp one power even a, an option? You begin interviewing your opponent in the game. Oh, why have I got like got you blocked? I reckon that's weird. That that was a power up. Yeah, that was a power up. <laughs> Let's do it. I love this shit. Hard into the marksman. I feel like more fangs here because you don't expect. Like, Overlord has to be coming, right? I mean, Vulcan too, but if you have... Vulcan 2 is a thing. Vulcan Vulcan also would be just... Like, one Vulcan, I think, wins, but then the balls get... You should definitely upgrade the balls. Be ready for that. Upgrade the Crawlers too. Actually, like, upgrade the Swarm this this round. Uh, Danville says my opponent just surrendered upon seeing my spawn units. You don't lose combat power or gain it within the first five minutes of a match ending. It was for crashes. They really need to fix it back, though. Um, multiplies mark attacks attack speed that cost a lot of damage. Do you think just, like, more fangs here? One more balls. Maybe maybe a, bit, a little bit of both. Maybe some balls in the center. Center balls. Like, don't go all crowds. And then more fangs in the center after them. 
I feel like they can pull something out here that's just gonna be like, oh, fuck you. Like, surely they can just pull out, like, a Vulcan. They put the balls against the walls. <laughs> like, something is coming, right? Okay, no, it's just more marksmen. We are, we are just doing more marksmen. <laughs> yeah, we can't see her often interviewing my opponent, but <laughs> I like that they're doing it. You see what I'm saying about people just love to fucking do marksmen? Because it works. If you haven't been beaten by this before, you'll just be like... And, like, even here, it's fucking scary. But yeah, it's just like, oh, like, 20 marksmen is scary and they're cheap. The whole game is literally just learning placement and counter. Well, I mean, I don't know... I don't know what you're doing on the marksman then, man. I am honestly stunned that they're still just buying marksmen. Like, I know that the idea is... Like, it's like doing a fucking meta in TFT, right? Like, it's like you read the meta on, like, over overcooked GG or whatever, and it's like, okay, now round three, buy two more marksmen. Round four, buy two more marksmen, whatever. Like, that's how TFT works. But, like, you can't do that in this game. Like, your build is not working. Don't do, like, a build. Like, you gotta react every round. Now, I I'm saying that one Vulcan just kills me here, but, like... Yeah, they haven't got the EMP th shit, right? No, so I can keep going Mechanical Division balls. Because, yeah, like... Well, what do I want to do here? Are they about to die? Not quite. Speed Specialist, yes, please. You have to expect that, like... Usually I expect, like, oh, you know, don't keep going in on the same advantage. Like, prepare for them to do something new, right? Don't just double down. But in this case, they're just doubling down on marksmen so fucking hard that I have to assume they're just going to keep fucking doing it until I drop around. So just actually, no, just keep spamming fucking swarms. Because if I don't stay ahead of it, they will maybe, like, hit, like, a marksman critical mass. I don't know. You can put some rhinos in the mix, too. Though they are extra weak. I think just balls. If they do go Vulcans, it stops them. I'm a little light on AA is what I don't like here. Like, I need more AA for... To deal with the potential of, um... Overlords. Overlords are the big thing that scares me here. But until I see him, you know, I can't be that worried about him. I'm gonna go like this. I'm just gonna do this. Maybe I can even win in one round. Nope! Oh no, there's the one Vulcan, but no Overlord. Which would be the really scary thing, potentially, if my fangs die early. If the fangs die early, I have nothing against air. But we're gonna just missile, because we just wanna, like, win now, before they have the chance to pivot into something that isn't bad. Yeah, like, one Vulcan is good here. And it's behind the lines, which is a clever placement, because it means the balls will get onto it last. However, I just have enough balls at this point, it doesn't matter. You are done, I might even win. No. GG. Whoa, by minus 20. That's weird. Like... Yeah. You do, you, do, you do gotta watch for this. Like, you'll you'll meet people where... You know, this game is a little about mind gaming, where it's like... Okay. Clearly, buddy... Just endless marksman is not working. So clearly, this human being will do something different. They will not keep buying marksmen against my fangs, crawlers, and balls. Uh, assuming that they can just power through. And then they'll do that. And then you'll be surprised, maybe not in the matchup so extreme as, as marksmen to ball crawl, but you will be surprised where someone will just get 20, 20 marksmen and it's just like, oh, actually they do kill, they do counter crowds at this point because they just have too many of them <laughs> because of the way the match went. And sometimes you're just going to be prepared for that, that someone's just going to be like, fucking die. <laughs> fucking <laughs> unlimited marksman works. People love to do it with marksmen. The big things people love to do. Obviously, everyone's always going to crawl or flank you unless you line up your formation right. I put my I put my formations, my starting units, in positions to prevent future crawlers, and I never get crawler flanked. It's very rare. People usually don't try it because they see I've got like an arc light from the round one in position. People will always try to like marksman spam me. They'll just go like a billion marksmen of upgrades, as we've seen in two rounds now to like four. People will try to get the overlord out on you and just go like, oh, I would have got the overlord. Um, people, people very much will come at you with this idea in, in, in the quick match a lot in my bracket of like, here's my cheese, I'm gonna kill you with it. And I don't want to like, sound like I'm like saying I'm better than anyone, I'm like hoisting my own batari, but I feel like what, what the rhythms I fall into when I play is I tend to not go straight for a cheese. I guess you could say crawl ball is a cheese that I just did basically in a sense, like, I know it's kind of like just a comp. But I guess you could just then just say this many marksmen as a comp. I don't know. 
I feel like I try to react and balance a bit more. Mitot says, six pull all the way to GM. Cyclone says, you are protected from wasp flank for what it's worth. Yes, I am. What? I literally was. Are you kidding? They, they wasp flanked me, even without flank, even going immediately with the wasp call in, and the fangs killed them. Huh? Though I would agree that, like, I didn't have enough. I would like to have, like, fangs and a marksman, or, like, fangs and a mustang to be properly immunized. Because the wasp, it was close. But unless they bought two fa uh, wasps at once, if they bought two wasps at once on one flank, it would have worked. Yeah. Maybe. Because I would have walked over and shot them, so I don't know. Turn to double overlist is very brandable, yeah. Barley says, a strong frontline isn't a cheese, it's a fundamental tenet of the game. That's like saying I bought Empire Swordsman cheese. I guess, yeah, but it's just because, like, it's all crowds. I think it's easy to go, like, oh, what can I do against all the crowds? But, you know, you can do a lot. Like, if this Vulcan had come out earlier, if you had two marksmen, but it said you had, like, two Vulcans, and then you had, like, something to also deal better with the balls, like, maybe you've got, like, some fangs of your own to tie my line up. Maybe you've got some air, like, some phoenixes for the balls. I think you're going to be doing a lot better. Second like says, you go corner whilst front plays crawlers, your fangs are closer to the front. Yeah, if you invest that hard, for sure. For sure. Because, because I don't have enough AA, yeah, because of my comp. And that's the thing about ball crawl, is I don't have enough AA for that. R straight up, for sure. But in general, you know, it is what it is. You know, in, in almost, it's very rare in my rounds that someone even tries to do the round two, round three, get your tower flank cheese. Because I don't place my units where you can get away with it easily. I always place my units where your flank isn't going to work, or you're going to have to invest a lot on it. And if you invest super hard in one of those early rounds on my flank, then I probably win against your tower, or you're already beating me. And then I take your tower anyway, so... I don't know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Uh, as well, when you place your formation like that. I think it's one of the most important things you can learn in this game, is... Like, it's, it's so important. I'm just going to jump in and really try to hammer this in for every single person watching, because, you know, there's always new people coming. Is when you get into a match of this... And where, where's a good example? Like, um... Like, like this, like Aerial Specialist. Let's say I have Arc Lights, Steel Balls... I have to play both sides. Arc Lights, Steel Balls... Don't place your units, like, here. Always do this, is what I do. I always deploy to the sides. And... The difference between being placed here and here can be very big. Because if, you if you deploy like here or here, you can actually be too far away to aggro on the back corner, which is where everyone places their crawlers. If you deploy here, usually you'll turn around and go kill them first, which is what you want. But you've got to be careful then because if the enemy has storm crawlers, now they can aggro onto your tower straight away if they're placed here. So it's a bit of a balance. You've got to kind of play it by ear a bit. If you, if you deploy too far back and have nothing in front, you're very vulnerable to fast units or mustang or storm crawlers just obliterating your towers instantly, which is not good. So, But usually you'll see me place like here or here. Um, and then, you know, to be with the rest of my line, I put them back here as well. Um, but yeah, my midline usually ends up around here, my back speedy line usually around here. And it gives you room, it doesn't give you more room to play backwards, but it does give you more room to play forwards if you want to play more things in the future to counter what they place. And then, yeah, like, the instant the enemy... Whoop, hang on. I didn't even buy any of your units, too, I forgot. But then, like, you know, we we'll say with them. Crawlers. Wasps. Now, let's say I buy, like, what? I don't even know if I can kill that many wasps in one turn here, but let's say, like, I wanted to buy two fangs in my first round, like, so we'd, like, do like that. And let's say next round I go, like, marksman, right? If I remembered to buy last round. So we have a lineup like this, right? And then, you know, you deploy. Here's the big committed, which you can't obviously do this around here normally, but here's the big committed flank attempt. And on one side, the sledges turn around with the arc light for the crawlers, and the other side, we got the fangs versus the mark. And I might still lose to these guys. A double, double loss flank would actually be pretty scary. But you know, over here, you're gonna kill that. And really, the danger now is then that you're so back deployed, your tower actually is gonna get taken out. I like what Cyclone's saying about a double wasp flank. That's actually really scary. Because unless you're hard on AA, it will actually get you. Because a lot of your study units like Arclights won't stop that. So I can... Wait, but, but are wasps 200 or 100? I think wasps are 200, right? 
Not 100? Yeah, 200. So that's why you can't do that. You can't do two units of wasps on someone's flank in round two, or probably even round three, um, without going insanely into debt or something. So more like that would be the one unit of wasps, which does lose to the one unit of fangs. And that's why, that's why, even if you have, like, two units of wasps there, two units of fangs will counter them for a better cost. And that's the interesting thing about air units, is they can be very effective for their, their air cheese, um, but they're not cost effective. The wasps aren't anyway. I shouldn't say area units, wasps are. Psycho says, and then the wasps can just take redeploy for 50 to move them into not useless after you counter. Oh yeah, I do it all the time with phoenixes and wasps. But here's the thing is, I did forget that wasps don't cost that much. So obviously, two units, 200 of crawlers on one side, but it wouldn't be. That's why I was... That's why when you were like, what if they just place like two units of wasps on your flank? And I was like, what if they do that? Why does anyone ever do that? They never do it because they're 200. They're too expensive. Yeah, you, you can't afford that, is why. So actually, it should be one unit of wasps. If you do it with one unit of wasps... So like I said, I did said one wasp and one crawler. Okay, well let's see what one wasp and one crawler. Let's see. So you put your crawlers here, right? We're kind of getting beyond the original point of the advice by now, but, which was the point of um, put your initial units in the flank, flank screen um, on round one. But anyway, now that we're talking about it, yeah, let's see. So you reckon Cyclone go... What side am I on? Fuck. I'm on the wrong side. You reckon go a unit of crawlers, like up here? Crawl on the front line to draw the fangs. So that pulls them, but to pull... Them, you have to be like... You want to pull them from the wasp, right? They don't give a fuck, it seems. They really don't give a fuck. But let, let's say we do it like this, right? Push wasp far corner. Far corner here. Okay. So we need to go to here. Back. Okay! Fight! There you go. Yeah, you're right. Now, can we get you on the front line? No, we still can't get you on the front line. To pull the whole unit of fangs would be to here. Okay, like that. Right? That's what you want? Like that? Don't need to be a whole unit. How, how would you place it, Cyclone? Most? Either way, they have to be on the flank is the thing. You see what I mean? Like, either way, that has to be on the flank with the way I positioned. Because I don't put the fangs even further forward. You have snipes like 50% of the draw. So you want to like draw 50% of them. Fangs are forever forward in front of the tower. Oh, you mean my other match? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about at this point, Cyclone. What, what hypothetical are you talking about at this point of my positioning? I'm doing it here like this. In the previous match. Right. But every match is different. Like, yeah, like sometimes someone can, you know, do the perfect thing like that for sure. When you said it right. Yeah, I mean, that pulls them off the tower. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. Because now they go for the arc light. But you wouldn't do it like this. Like, Cyclone has a very good point, but you wouldn't do it like this in a real match because... Oh, you're gonna get the tower. Because, um, you see the sledges. But Cyclone raises a good point. Like, obviously there's ways around things. You know, definitely. There's definitely ways around things. You can definitely be smart like that. You can definitely pull, it, you know, flanks apart. Crawlers are good units to use like that, where you go, like, I'm gonna spend 100 just to pull your formation out of position. Um, all that said, doesn't invalidate what I was saying, which Cyclone isn't saying either, just to be clear. Let me get back to the crystallized point as well, which is new players, deploy like this. That's all. Deploy your initial units to screen your flanks, and then you will stop getting crawler flank. We've seen it constantly in the tournament I, like, casted. Um, or often, let's go. Let's do TV2s. That tournament I casted, where Kanor is, like, asking me, as my co-caster, he's asking me, like, what do you think of the, the, the crawler flank meta that's so prevalent in Mechabellum? And I'm just thinking, like, just say fucking no to it. Like, just place your flank units in a place where it... Uh, pl place your starting units in a place where you, that won't work in the follow-up rounds when they try to do it. And then... Ah! No. And then, yeah, like, you'll find no one does it to you anymore. Like, how often do we see someone try to crawler flank me? It happens, but it's rare. Cycle says 2v2 me and someone else. 
Well, Arofin wants to 2v2 me. He's got dibs right now. But I would like to 2v2 of you too, Cyclone. Oh, you mean against you guys? I want to I wanna quick match. You mean like in-house? I guess we could in-house. Cyclone says, you were making a comment on the specific game today or something they could have done in that moment. I think I misunderstood. But yeah. We got, that wasn't like my best content. Like we got a little bit distracted there, I think. I got a little bit distracted. Yeah, yeah, Incredon, you and Cyclone versus me and Arofin. We could do that. I like quick match, you know. I like meeting random people. Okay. Oh my god, they are powerful. That is a powerful player. Nick Charlotte says, is this a PSYOP so I play into your opener? 